Hello everybody. In today's video I'm going to be talking about triangles and their classifications. So let's get right into this video today. First of all, let's look at the classifications. And there's two ways to classify triangles. The first is by the sides and the second is by the angles. So if we look at the sides, the first type is that all the sides are equal in length. So when they're all equal in length, then that's called an equilateral triangle. Now there is something kind of cool that happens when that, so that's, that's just, I put a, a check in each of these, like a little tick, to indicate that those are the equal sizes because there's only one tick in each of them, so that means that that's equal to this length, which is equal to this length. So all the lengths, all three sides are equal. So I'm gonna write this down, all three sides are equal. Okay, so now there's something else that's kind of cool that happens when all three sides are equal and that's because of the way that triangles work. Now, I'm going to just show you something here. You see this, this is one side of a triangle and my hands are the other two sides of a triangle. Now, watch what happens. This is really important that you watch carefully because as this side here gets smaller, watch what happens to the angle opposite it. Ooh, it's also getting smaller, isn't it? Okay, and if that gets larger, the, the side gets larger, the angle gets larger. So basically, I mean, that may seem really obvious to you, but lots of people don't think about it, that if this, the length of this side will affect, it's the angle and the opposite angle facing it. It will affect that size. So if this is a very small side, that would be a very small angle. It's a very large side, it would be a very large angle. All right, so that's important because when you look at this equilateral triangle, you have all the sides, let's just go over here, all the sides are equal, so therefore, you can say all the opposite angles will be equal to each other too because this affects that angle, this side affects this angle, and this side affects this angle. And because all the sides are the same size, then all the angles have to be the same size too. Okay, so that's um, equilateral triangle. All three sides are equal, and therefore all three angles are equal. All right, the definition is the sides, and therefore you can have the angles equal. All right, isosceles triangle. Isosceles triangle states that you have two sides are equal. Okay, so I've got a tick and a tick to show these two sides are equal, but this third side is different, and so I put two ticks to show that it's different. So with that too, let's think about the angles. Remember I talked about this side will affect the opposite angle, so it affects this angle, and because this side and this side are the same, and this affects this angle, these two angles will also be the same because it affects that, affects that. So those angles have to be the same because their opposite sides are the same length. All right, now we get to scalene and scalene is no two sides are equal, okay? So I'm going to write that, no two sides are equal, okay. So I have one tick, two ticks, three ticks, and that would mean that none of the angles are equal as well, all right? So that's by sides, and now you can also define uh, triangles by angles. And so let's look at the very first one, and the very first one is an acute triangle. And what that means is that all three angles are acute, all right? So they're less than 90 degrees, and, um, and greater than zero, of course, but uh, that's an acute angles. All three have to be acute, not just one or two, all three. That's why I put all three angles have to be acute. For an obtuse triangle, only one angle is obtuse in the triangle. I've got a question for you. Do you think you could have a triangle with two obtuse angles? What do you think? Try it and you'll find that you can't. You can never make a triangle with two obtuse angles or more. 
okay? All right, and now the final one is a right triangle, and in this one, one angle is 90 degrees. Again, can you make two angles 90 degrees in a triangle? Try it, and you'll find you can't. So one angle, and notice there's a little box here, and that 90 degrees there is an indicator that this is a right angle triangle, okay? So you just say a right triangle, obtuse triangle, and an acute triangle, equilateral triangle, isosceles triangle, and scalene. Lots of people like to say obtuse angled triangle. No, you just say obtuse triangle. The same with acute triangle, the same with a right triangle. You don't say right angle triangle, it's right triangle. All right, now let's go and do something with this. Here we've got um, two angles in a triangle. You have to figure out the third angle, and then you have to classify. See this says classification by sides and by angles. So let's go and start this, and let's classify and figure out what these triangles look like. The first one says it's 43. Oh, before we go there, all triangles, the sum of the angles, sum of the angles of all triangles, is always equal to 180 degrees. So if you know two angles, you can always figure out the third. All right, so let's do the first one. You've got 43 and, and 94. Well, if you add those two together, you get, let's just add those together, you get a, a total of 137 degrees. So now you know that this 180 is a total for all three, so 180 minus 137 is what? And that will tell you your last triangle. So I'm going to write that one here, 180 minus 137, and that would give you 43 degrees. There you go, okay? So your third angle here is 43. Huh, that's kind of cool, because look, you've got two angles at 43. So. Let's now do our classification by sides. We've got two angles that are 43 degrees. It doesn't tell us our sides, but you can figure that out because these two angles are 43 degrees the same, then the two opposite sides must be the same. So that means they're isosceles. It's an isosceles triangle, okay? And by angles, well, the first thing you check out, is it a right angle? No, there's no right angles in there. I'm going to take this out so you can see this 43 and it makes it really clear. Okay, and take that out. All right, so you can see there's no right angle, so it's not a right triangle. Is it an obtuse triangle? Are there any obtuse angles? Yes, there is. And that is 94 degrees is obtuse, so we have an obtuse isosceles triangle. All right, let's go to the next one. And uh, this is 13 and 77 degrees. Well, if you add those two up together, you get 90 degrees. Now, 90 plus what equals 180, or 180 subtract 90 equals what? Well, the next one would have to be 90 degrees to make a total of 180. And again, we go through the types. So by sides, are, any, are all the angles are any of the angles equal? No. Uh, so it's got to be, all the sides will be different then, which means that it will be this last kind, which is scalene. Okay. So I write scalene down there. And by angles, a right angle is right there. So I'm going to write right. Okay. Now the last one, 60, 60 plus what equals 180? Well, 60 and 60 is 120, plus another 60 gives 180, so this is a 60 degree. And all the angles are equal, so all the sides would be equal, and that would give us an equilateral triangle. And by angles, are there any 90 degree angles? No. Are there any obtuse angles? No. So this is, all three are acute angles, so this is an acute an acute equilateral triangle. All right, now, one more, one more thing. Uh, first of all, here, you can have, just because it's isosceles doesn't mean it's obtuse, 
It could be an isosceles acute, so always check out things and find out what's going on. And you'll see all the different varieties of triangles that you can have. All right, this last one, last question. Triangle ABC is an isosceles triangle with angle A equal 30 degrees. Give three possible values for angle B. All right, so I've got here um, 30 degrees. I, written, I wrote out three triangles for you and drew them out so that you could see them. I really like this question. And uh, when I put this into the curriculum, I thought, oh, you guys will like it because it gets you really to think about what can happen. And it's really neat because you can figure out that they can be exactly another three different triangles just because you know one and you know that it's an isosceles and you know one angle, you can actually come up with three different triangles or three, sorry, three different angles for angle B. So let's do this, okay? So the first one, I'm going to make these isosceles triangles and the very first one I'm going to do is I'm going to make an isosceles so it looks like that, with those two sides. So if those two sides are equal, then the opposite angles, so this one would have to be 30 degrees, okay? So I'm labeling that. Now I can get to the next one and I'm going to say, well, I've got these two sides equal. Why don't I do instead these two sides? So I can go like that. And I don't have any other angles I can put in right now without calculating. And so I've got this and I've got, actually I'm going to put the 30 in here so you can see that. There we go. And now the other two would be here and here, these two sides, because it's, because it's isosceles, you know that, okay, that, that two sides are equal. So I'm, I'm putting all the different types of variations. Let's go back to the first one now, okay. In this first one, it shows that you've got two sides, two angles. So right now we have the two angles, but we don't have B. But what we have is 30 plus 30, which is 60 degrees. So B will be 180 minus 60 degrees, which is equal to 120 degrees. Okay, so there's B for this one. B, angle B equals 120 degrees. There's one value. Let's go to the next one. On this one, you have 30 here, and you have these two. So 30 plus two of these would equal 180 degrees. So let's think about that. 30 degrees plus what equals 180? Let's do that first. Well, that would be 150, but that's twice. That's two of these, so you have to say 150 divided by two, which is equal to 75 degrees. So B, angle B, can equal 75 degrees. So now you've got it could be 120, it could be 75, or let's see this last one. And this last one, I'll, I'll go like this. This last one is um, this one. Notice where the, the ticks are. So this is 30 degrees, so the opposite to this would be 30 degrees. Oh, you've got the answer. Okay, so B is 30 degrees. So angle B is equal to 30 degrees. So the three different values that B can have when A is 30 degrees are 30 degrees, 75, or 120. Kind of cool, eh? I thought it was a neat question, and I hope you liked it too. All right, so have fun with this whole, whole section. It's kind of fun just to figure out all these different types of triangles and see what you can find with, with some of the patterns that happen. And in your assignment, if you're, if you're doing this assignment, careful because it's not the same number. It is a different number that you have to work with. Okay, have fun.